Hello my dear friends, we are starting the Novena to St. Joseph as we are focusing on St. Joseph very specially this year as the church has taken this initiative to focus on St. Joseph and to follow his example and special intercession through him as he is the protector and patron of our Catholic Church. And my dear friends, we have nine days Novena and Today, being the first day, we would reflect on one attribute or the salient future of Saint Joseph and then each day we would find one speciality, one character, the virtue which we find in Saint Joseph and that virtue or the theme would be the same intention which we will be also praying and I have chosen nine themes for this these days of Novena each day and they are all just taken from the litany of Saint Joseph and being the first day my dear friends I have chosen the theme purity because one of the salient features of Saint Joseph is his purity his chaste heart my dear friends when we do this Novena remember God has entrusted this special task of safeguarding our purity to some saints and especially to Saint Joseph as he guarded the Holy Family of Nazareth. You know my dear friends, when Pharaoh was the king of Egypt, it was he who entrusted the responsibility to the governor of Egypt, namely the Joseph of old. Though we know that Hebrews were considered like low people or kind of an aversion because they were all shepherds doing menial job but however when God raises someone Pharaoh himself appoints Joseph as the governor of all of Egypt and whenever people were feeling no food they were all sent to Saint Joseph of old to receive the grains and so also God in his own mercy and love shares his responsibility with simple hearts like Saint Joseph, Mother Mary, saints and blessed depending on the need of this world and therefore it is our own responsibility to humble ourselves and to receive all the graces that the Lord is sharing with all the saints and blessed and therefore this year being the year of Saint Joseph we have chosen this special nine theme to get lot of benefits from this wonderful saint, saint of purity, Saint Joseph. And today I would like to introduce this Saint Joseph the most chaste and Saint Joseph is known for his purity my dear friends and that is what we find in the litany of Saint Joseph. And why do I choose this virtue first, this theme? You know Saint Joseph in his one of his revelations in 1998 to the young man in Brazil he revealed that the Lord sent Saint Joseph to ask people to devote to him for the chastity for his own chaste heart and that is why we are all called to ask for Saint Joseph's special intercession special prayer so that we would also preserve our purity as he did and he is also called terror of the demons my dear friends why saint joseph is called terror of demons we see in the litany because when you are pure in your heart the devil is terribly afraid and the first thing that the devil wants to ruin in each soul is to take away the purity why so my dear friends the purity is nothing but we are in the image and likeness of god and that image and likeness of God makes the devil or the Satan to feel uncomfort in working with us. When the devil wants to attack us, feels only this purity can be a great a block or a stumbling block for the devil to work upon us. And therefore, it does erasing the identity, namely the purity when it removes our purity that is our nature of in union with god then it has an easy way to work with us we just become clay the dust and that is the danger we are when we do away with the purity 
and therefore my dear friends we need to preserve the purity like saint joseph and even if our past life was not so good we can still preserve we can still regain our innocence through the intercession of saint joseph and therefore today let us really make use of this one prayer to pray for purity if we are a religious we have the celibacy to be chaste and if we are married person then we have chastity one to one special love for each other and our lord jesus never compromised on this virtue he said even in our own thoughts and words we can be so malicious if we are not very careful and therefore my dear friends purity in its own essence is very much valued and this virtue is something so dear to god because god with his nature addresses himself as holy and therefore we are imitating god in his purity and we can see lot of benefits are assured because of this virtue of purity and there are some congregations namely salesians we salesians are known for this virtue namely we have taken three vows vow of obedience poverty and chastity and don bosco has always advised and exhorted the salesians to take care of the chastity especially because to work with young people you may have lot of challenges towards this vow and therefore we are specially on this vow of chastity and for jesuits it is more focus on the vow of obedience and for franciscans they focus more on the frugal poverty and therefore though every religious would take three vows but still each one according to their mission specially focus on one virtue and for me as a salesian this virtue of purity is so close because don bosco always recommended to have a special devotion to mother mary and to saint joseph especially to preserve this purity and the angel angelic purity is always of uh, refer to saint john the apostle also our blessed mother see when the when the saints have preserved their purity they were easily overcome the temptations of the devil and that is why many saints like father epio john mary vianney saint teresa of little jesus they are all known for their purity and they were able to easily overcome the temptations and the tests of the devil and therefore my dear friends let us really make use of this wonderful saint saint joseph to obtain regain our own childhood innocence the identity with which god created namely the chastity also let us pray for one another that each of us would value this virtue of purity vow of chastity or celibacy and for this today we would focus and ask special favor from saint joseph and the prayer would be very simple we have that traditional prayer to saint joseph where you can add this intention for today and then followed by the litany to saint joseph and this prayer would be one and the same every day but only every day we would have a special prayer intention focused upon but then the prayer after this small introduction you would get the link and please do make use of that link to pray the prayers to saint joseph and the litany to saint joseph glory to jesus ave maria